Cross over some uh, low cloud here. Check this out. All down towards the south there. We got a nice little, nice little patches of stratus down there. Working, uh, just like some the strato cumulus. They're all starting to break up. Uh, the sun is starting to heat up the ground underneath, breaking those clouds up. They'll probably dissipate or they'll start to rise and form some cumulus. But now yeah, we're going to fly right over these guys. Check that out. Isn't that cool? Beautiful. Beautiful out there. Hopefully you guys can see all that. Very nice. All right, flying over the cloud, people. Look at this, all this nice little cloud right close to the ground down there. Probably once was fog earlier this morning. Now it's slowly starting to rise up, turn into cumulus or evaporate completely. Anyway, beautiful. Beautiful morning for flying. All right, turn it off again and uh, Turn it on when I come across something new and exciting. See you guys. Hey everybody, welcome back. Just coming up on the Athabasca River here. One interesting thing is, you know, after we get all this rain the night before, there's so much moisture in the air and the temperature cools down enough that all these rivers that we can see are pretty much just covered in cloud. Can't really see the river too much, but you can see where it is because all of this cloud is just sitting in that river valley. Interesting thing. Would be nice to see the actual river, but hey, it's like a river of cloud. That's pretty cool. The Athabasca River down there. Actually, hopefully you guys got a glimpse of the river down there. Got that nice glacier color. Very cool. Almost at Edson now. It should be just off on the horizon there. Just uh, off in the distance. 26 miles. Should be getting there within about 15 minutes now. 10 to 15 minutes. There we go, there's a nice view, Edson down there, hey, look at that. 
Hudson Highway all the way over to Edmonton off in the distance there. Bet it wasn't clear we could probably see the city from here and see the Rocky Mountains, but a little bit too uh, too smoky, too hazy. Hey guys, welcome back. I just looked out the window here and noticed, man, all this burnt forest. Those fires earlier this year were just terrible. I can't believe the amount that has been burned. I mean, I've been flying over this burnt section of forest for probably like say about five minutes now. As you can see, if you can see to the rear there, at about the seven, eight o'clock position, there's a lot of burnt forest all the way down here underneath me. And then you can see pretty much where it stopped. Looked right down just above the wheel there. See that line of nice dark light, well, green trees. And then a line of semi scorched trees. And then it's just nothing but all black charred trees. They can see just where that fire had stopped advancing. Unreal. And the damage is just crazy. Alright guys, welcome back. We're uh, getting close to the Brazo Lake and Brazo Dam, which is right in front of us here. So we're going to get a nice view of that. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy everything so far. Be another nice sight. Don't really know too much about this Brazo Dam. But uh, yeah, I didn't even actually know about it until I was planning for this flight and seeing it on the map. Realized I'd be flying right over it. Thought that was pretty cool. So interesting, interesting little point here. Well, we'll fly right over it. Get a real nice view of everything. Check out that view. Oh, look at that nice beach down there. Wow, that is an amazing beach. It's like it's on an island, so you need a boat to get to it. But uh, yeah, very nice, very nice, Pretty cool dam down there. Little tiny dam, eh? Look at that. How much power they produce down there? Twenty plane air traffic. This is Cessna one seven two Fox Trot. Correction, Golf Echo Fox Trot Kilo. About one and a half miles to the southeast of Stony Plain at four thousand feet, and I'm heading to Barhead Airport. A lot of flooded ground down there. Very cool. All right, guys, welcome back. We're about uh, 12 minutes away from Rocky Mountain House here, just starting to descend down to pattern altitude. Should be getting there, like I said, in about 12 minutes or so here, so I figured I'd turn the cameras on, let you guys get a nice view of the uh, approach and landing into Rocky Mountain House. This other GoPro going here. All right, it looks good. Record. All right, all set to go. All right, we're going to cross over to the North Saskatchewan River here. You can see just coming up from the south, uh, heading northeast towards Edmonton there. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, enter the left downwind. You can see the runway on our 10 o'clock position, and uh, we'll just fly parallel to it, turn around, and land uh, runway 31. Like we got uh, the winds coming uh, out of the north slightly, so very minimal winds, so I don't think it really matters, but any headwind is uh, better than any kind of tailwind, so we'll take Ghost that. Ghost Lake area traffic, Cessna 172 Sierra Tango Charlie, just on the east side of Ghost Lake, going to be flying westbound on the south side of Ghost Lake. Nice view of the river down there. Beautiful, eh? Nice color, beautiful color.
the guys that are busy on the radio here. We're getting close to Red Deer. We got Sylvan Lake just off of our left wing here. Beautiful fields of yellow and green. Everything's yeah, looking really nice this summer. We've got the highway going over to Red Deer here. 8,500 westbound for Canada. Across them right over the Red Deer Regional Airport, 7,500 before turning southeastbound to Drumheller. Beautiful weather down here in southern Alberta today. It's crazy. Grand Prairie to Red Deer in uh, just over three hours. Actually, let's see, 8.30. Two hours, yeah, 40 minutes to Red Deer. So it's pretty good. One twenty six seven traffic in the Red Deer area, one seven two Golf X Romy Mike currently overflying Red Deer Regional one seven thousand five hundred. Heading southeast bound to Drumheller. Golf X Romeo Mike, Red Deer traffic area. Twenty six seven traffic to Comanche Park, Bravo Oscar Zoo is just over the town of Warburg, southwestbound Rocky Mountain Road, eight thousand five hundred. Oh, look at all those planes parked down there. Yankee because you're a country at 6,000 feet, about 5 miles east of Castillo's practicing force approach. Yankee because you're there. Minneapolis area traffic, this is Fest 7 to go to Yankee Delta Echo. Oh, we are at 5,000 doing precautionary uh, practice uh, here in Minneapolis for six, uh, 5,000 um, Yankee Delta Echo. Cool. Red Deer Airport people, check it out. The planes doing circles right beneath us here. We're on runway one two, right hand circuits. And red deer all over there. Very cool. Alright guys, welcome back. As you can see we got the Red Deer River Valley just off our ten o'clock there. You can see how dry that looks, how deserty that looks. So oh, man, we're getting close to Drumheller here. Twenty miles away. It looks like we'll be there in about 10, uh, about maybe 12 minutes here, so we're going to start descending down right away and then let everybody know our intentions and uh, get ready for landing. Hope you guys enjoyed the descent, the approach, and the landing into hot drum heller. I think they said it was about 28 degrees on the ground right now, so yeah, it's getting pretty hot. Uh, here, yeah, Ooh. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Look at that. That's pretty cool down there, right? Eh? Awesome. Okay, the airport should be coming into sight here right away. Drum Heller Unicom, Cessna 172, Golf X ray, Romeo Mike, currently three miles northwest. It's about to join the left downwind for runway 35 for a full stop. Estimating uh, just a couple minutes. Golf X ray, Romeo Mike, Drum Heller Unicom. We got that antenna there, we got the airfield right there. Little bumpy over here. Not seeing any traffic around. Looking pretty good. There's the museum right there. That's pretty cool. Drum Heller Unicom, so it's the 172, Golf X Romeo Mike on left downwind runway 35. For
Curse. 